Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. I have a fun video today. I love doing these videos. They are totally random and I don't need this inventory, but who doesn't love a surprise? So I am a full-time reseller. I sell on a platform called Poshmark. I also send things into ThreadUp. And this box is a denim DIY box from the rescue section of ThreadUp. And the rescue section is kind of random. Um, I love those shoe rescue boxes. I have a couple of those coming, so you'll see some videos soon. But the denim boxes can be good too, and they're so inexpensive. So I think you get 30 pounds for around $50. So I went ahead and picked one up. When they restock them, they sell out really, really quickly. So keep that in mind. But I was able to actually grab one, and we're gonna go through it. There's no guarantees. Some of this denim will have flaws. Um, you don't know, know what brand you're gonna get, but if you can find a couple good pieces in here, then it's worth it. And it's just fun. It's just fun. <laughs> so let's see what we find inside of this thread up box, shall we? Um, I haven't really looked through it. I opened it up. I saw a couple pieces that were on the top, but I haven't, this is my first impression. Um, okay, these are Abercrombie and Finch. They're a size 24, which is a double zero. And already on the back, I can see that they have a big hole. So these will be straight into the redonate or trash. I don't know. Those are nothing I can resell. Um, these are a pair of holster jeans in a size 25. And they are distressed at the knees. That is factory distressing and they do have zippers at the ankles. This is something I can probably either sell, send in to thread up again. Um, I'm not going to dump these, so I'll keep those. This is a pair of, oh, this is a good pair. Okay, so I got these because they're men's. They don't sell men's on their website, so they'll put all the men's stuff that they get into these boxes. This is a pair of Liverpool size 33 by 32 men's denim jeans. So these are great, actually. There's nothing wrong with these. I will definitely be keeping these. We can probably sell them for $20, $25. Hopefully we get more men's jeans in here. I like that. <laughs> this is just Universal Threads by Target and these are trashed. Look at the thighs. Ooh, this is straight garbage. Um, I'm going to put this into the do not keep pile. We have a pair of No Boundaries, which is a Walmart brand pair of shorts. They still have the Goodwill tag on them, and I'll be redonating those. Pair of Massimo, like Bermuda length shirt shorts from Target. I'll be redonating those. What the heck is this? I have no idea what this is. Okay, this is men's, and I guess I'm going to have to look this up. I think this is inexpensive, though. That is what the tag looks like. If it focuses there, that's what it says. And it does have, this is what makes me think it's inexpensive, this really, like, Chinese writing tag. Um, I don't think these are anything, but I will look them up because I haven't heard of it before. So I'm going to put this into the maybe pile. There's a lot of jeans in here, you guys. It's like 30 pounds, so <laughs> we have a long way to go. Um, these are so, like, um, American Heritage, whatever. I think this is from Walmart. These are just, like, cut-off shorts. These will be in the redonate pile. We have another pair in the same size. That's the redonate pile. And then a pair of loft cut-offs shorts. I don't know if these are supposed to be cut off or if they are... Mm -hmm. Did someone cut these? Yeah, someone cut these on their own. This was not factory done. So these are going into the donate pile. Okay, not so good so far. Sometimes people get crazy stuff. So I'm just waiting for that day. Wet Seal, do you remember this store? I think they're completely out of business. But when I was in my teenage years, Wet Seal was like the place I spent my money. I worked at the mall, I worked at Auntie Anne's. I'm donating these by the way. And um, I would go to Wet Seal. It was like across the way and we would barter. Like I would use, the girls would let me use their discount in exchange for my discount, which was free pretzels. Anyway, 
I bought a lot of clothes there. More wet seal, and this definitely looks like from the time when I was a teenager with that logo right there, with that butterfly. Yeah. Okay, donating these. And grabbing some more pair out. There is so many pair in here. <laughs> Um, more Universal Threads shorts. I'm going to go ahead and donate these. Target brand. I would sell those if it was summertime, but I will keep these. Um, these are in really good condition. And they're just old navy rockstar denim jeans. And this is a newer tag from them. They are the super skinny high rise. And they are a size. They are tinier. Well, they're size 6. I will go ahead and keep these. These will sell for $20 or so. Um, Wallflower, this is definitely not a brand that I pick up or buy, so that is getting donated. Indigo Rain, Rain, whatever. This is again, these are in horrible condition, but also I'm it's not a brand that I would sell or that will resell for anything, so those are getting donated. Okay, not looking too great, are we? No boundaries. Uh, not only are these not a brand I want, but the, look at this. The elastic is all broken in these pants, so those are a donation. Wow, I am not doing good here. Okay, these are Levi's slender boot. These are not a Levi that I want, though, and they are not in good shape, so. Okay, Levi's are getting donated. Not Your Daughter's Jeans. I have actually been selling these, but this is a um, very worn in pair. If you can see the the thigh area it has been completely stretched out. Those are not a pair that I will keep. Whew, we've only got three winners so far, you guys. Fingers crossed we at least get like 10 winners. I don't think we will. <laughs> eh, okay, we might keep these. Let's see. These are American Eagle Outfitters. These are skinny jeans. Um, where are you from? There are date codes on these, so that helps me decide if I want to keep it or not. Oh, 2012. Ooh, they're pretty. Oh, these are very worn. I should have just looked. The elastic is stretched out in these. Those will get donated. These are red blue denim. I don't even think these are denim. They're like a cotton. This is like a very inexpensive, cheap. Don't want. VIP jeans. This is not a brand I want either. I should just title this brand of jeans not to buy to resell. Um, but I'm not done. There are still so many pairs in here. Wow. They like really packed it in. Okay. DKNY shorts. Hipster shorts. These will be a pass. Um, okay, we'll keep these. These are girls. These are a girl size eight, seven for all mankind um, shorts. These won't fit my daughter, but if they did, she would totally steal them. So the kid shorts, I will definitely be keeping those. Those will sell. Um, we have a song, S-O-N-G, curvy, high rise, skinny. This is not anything I've ever heard of. And you can tell it's very inexpensive and in going straight into the donate pile. Old Navy Rock Stars. Okay, these I'll keep. They need to be washed, but these I will keep. These will sell. They are high rise distressed denim with like the raw hems. We'll keep those in our keep pile. More of the indigo rain and like all of the rhinestones are missing, and that's a donate. More, same situation. All the rhinestones have been worn off. That's a donate. Don't even need to open those up all the way. VIP jeans. That's a donate. Um, what else is here? Come on. Let me see if I can get the rest of the stuff out of this box. I think I can. I think I can. Okay, here. Then we can put our donates right back into that box to go get them. Um, what is this? Limited. So it's like washed off on the back of the jean, but I just look at the button if I can't tell what brand it is. These are very dated and very worn. So donate those. Woo, this is for my youth. Angels, and look at this. 
Wow, look at these denim pants. Has this come back in style yet? I don't think so. Those are getting donated. We have a Gap pair of jeans. I might keep these if they don't have any flaws. They look pretty good. They're size 26. They're just your basic Gap denim, but there is a following for these. These do have some wear in the thigh, but those will sell. People like their Gap jeans, guys. Vanilla Star mid-rise skinny jeans, size 3, with a big hole in the back of them. So I was looking at these for a second because camo's in, but then I noticed that there is a giant hole. So those will be donated. American Eagle jeans. Okay, I might get with these. These are a, looks like they're brand new, size 4, jeggings, raw hem. You can see like the tag is still on it halfway. Um, I'll keep these. Um, what is this? This looks expensive, whatever it is. D9. This is definitely a more expensive brand of jean. Um, this looks like it was probably sold at like Buckle or something. So there it is. And then here's the back. The patch is an actual leather patch back here, which is a good sign. And I have to look this company up, but... I have hopes for these. I have hopes for these ones. We're going to keep them and see how they do. I might be wrong. Um, Paris Blues. Okay, this is another one I wore when I was a kid. And those are destroyed. We're going to toss those. Ooh! <gasps> okay. Oh, finally, we found... <sighs> we found a winner. This is a great brand, you guys. And it's called The Great. Oh my gosh. Okay. Love that this was in here because The Great, the brand The Great, has a really good following. These are a size 30, which is an excellent size. Ugh, this pair of jeans will pay for the whole box. And that's very exciting. So anyway, this is a great find. I'm really excited about these. I have, this is the almost skinny. I've literally only found this brand one other time. I bought it in a buyout from someone. So I never have thrifted it. Um, yes. Okay. One winner. What are these? Okay. These are winners too. I'll probably keep these. So this is a pair of not your daughter's jeans in a size 10, but they're not worn out. The nice dark wash boot cut. I'll keep these. Um, I can sell these for usually around $25. And then these I might keep too. Let's see. Nope. These have like pulling in the area but these were just gap jeans so let's go over what I'm keeping here see how many bags I found either yeses so out of the box I'm keeping one two three four five six seven eight nine okay we did get to ten so i am keeping ten pair of jeans from this box which is not too shabby honestly i'd really like to also see if this brand is anything exciting this d9 so mm -hmm. let's see here D9 jeans. Um, District 9 jeans. <sighs> okay, so District 9 is apparently what this is. And let's see if we have any sold. So filter available sold items on Poshmark. It looks like they sell for around 20 bucks. So yeah, we'll keep these. So there we go. 20, or sorry, 10 pair of jeans. And even if we average um well, i think we'll average 20 dollars a sell on these so that's about 200 dollars. we pay about 50 dollars for the box that's not too shabby not too shabby i do have to get rid of all the ones i don't want but that's okay anyway do you guys ever order these boxes do you enjoy them i think it's personally just really fun it's something i don't know it's just fun it's fun to get like a surprise gift in the mail and i'm excited for my shoe boxes to come they're supposed to come next week so you'll have a couple more videos on these guys let me know what you think let me know if you ever order these and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed me watching me watching if you enjoyed watching me open these boxes have a great day everyone bye